Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to work on this circuit here which has a 3 milliamp current source, a 10 volt voltage source, another 10 volt voltage source, and then a nice assortment of resistors. These are all in the kilo ohm range, so different values. And the, the entire uh, circuit is hooked up to a load resistance we're calling R sub naught. Now, um, notice this has an arrow through it. Now, that's a symbol that you may or may not have seen up to now in circuits. If you see a um, resistor with an arrow through it like that, that means it's adjustable, right? That's all it means. So if you have any kind of circuit where you need to adjust the resistance of something and you have to have a knob or something like that, then you would draw the resistor with an arrow through it like that. So that just means we can adjust the value of R0. And the question is, well actually there's two questions. What is the value of R0 needed for maximum power transfer to R0? And the second question is, once we meet that condition, once we adjust it properly, how many watts are actually delivered to R0? So we're going a step further. We're finding out uh, what is the value of R0 needed for max power transfer, and once we're there, how many watts are actually being delivered. So it's a little bit uh, beyond what we did before. So the first thing we need to do is look at this and realize that the value of this resistor needed is going to be uh, equal to the Thevenin resistance of the rest of this circuit here from basically this point on. We find the Thevenin resistance, then that's the value of R0 needed. So we start thinking about how are we going to calculate the Thevenin resistance, right? Now we could, you know, take this out and hook a test source up like we did before. We could do that. Um, but I'm noticing, though, that in this case, this is a little bit easier, really, because there are no uh, dependent sources. There's no triangle sources anywhere. And so because of that, what I could do is I could short circuit all of the voltage sources that would eliminate these two. And I could open circuit all of the current sources. I only have one of them. So all I'm going to be left with is this nice, really easy looking resistor network that I can do series parallel combinations to find out what that Thevenin resistance is. So that's the way we're going to do this one because it just looks to be the easiest. So what we're going to do first is redraw the circuit directly underneath with these modifications in place. So this guy's a current source. He's going to be open circuited and disappear. The rest of it we're going to draw right below. So here's a resistance here. Here's a resistance on top, here's a resistance here. This voltage source is now short-circuited, so it, it just put a line there. Here's the resistor there, here's a resistor there. The, re the voltage source there is short-circuited. And then what we're going to do here is, this is terminal A, and this is terminal B, because you know the load resistance is really hooked up between, you could, you could almost label terminals A and B here and it's hooked up between it, so we're, we're wanting to find the, the resistance looking back. So we kind of take our load resistor away, disconnect it from the circuit, and we're analyzing what lies before it. So the values of these resistances are as follows. All right, so this is four kilo ohms. This is eight kilo ohms. This is 20 kilo ohms. This is 2.5 kilo ohms. This is 10 kilo ohms. So this is a really simple resistive network that I know that I can use series and parallel combinations to take care of. So working on the back end, uh, these guys here, these are in series, so we can just add them together. So let's redraw the circuit down below. 8 plus 4 is 12. So let's just put a 12 kilo ohm resistance uh, here, and then we'll just redraw the rest of the circuit really quickly. This is 20 kilo ohms. This is 2.5 kilo ohms. This is 10 